Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video where today I'm going to show you the fastest way to get XP on the fire and rescue team. Similar to the one I did yesterday which was the police and sheriff team. So if you do enjoy, please be sure to like and subscribe as it helps out a lot. Anyways, enjoy. So once you spawn in here, make sure you equip the full turnout gear here. Um, you get your helmet, you get your medic bag and you get your fire hose. That will be all of the equipment that you need to um, get XP the quickest. So if you just head over here and you select all of these different um, options for your helmet and then spawn in any vehicle you want. Probably a smaller one is best as they're faster and easy to get around but it's completely your choice. They're all about the same. For this video though I'm just going to get a normal fire engine as it's the first vehicle that you actually unlock. And as I said in the how to get XP on the police team video if you do roleplay you won't get XP as quickly is if you were just to work hard and get all the jobs done. But anyways, on the fire team you can get XP in many ways. So the first way is obviously by putting out building fires or forest fires, which gives you 45 XP each time. Also a good thing to note is that a fire is created every 5 minutes if you're on the team. The second way is by putting out vehicle fires. These are user generated by people crashing too much or by cars getting shot. And these give 15 XP every time. The third way is by healing players which gives you 10 XP every time and it's easy to do that. You just walk up to someone that's injured and you hold E and you'll get 10 XP for healing them. And then the fourth way is by patrolling and just being on duty. Like every other job that you get XP for doing that and money as well. So if you stick around in the city area you're most likely to see vehicle fires and injured people because that's where most people usually are. Um, you can also see join the police radio over here which then you'll see if people need backup or if someone's been shot and injured or if there's a vehicle on fire or any big scenes that there might be something happening at you can go there quickly from using the police radio because you'll know where it is. So as you can see we have a bush fire near the county jail right now so I'm just going to respond there and see what we have. Every single fire gives 45 XP no matter what the size is, if it's on a building or in a forest. Yeah, so it looks like this, this is just one tree on fire, which is very good. So we'll get the same amount from this as if it was like the entire jail on fire or something. So if we just go ahead and put this out, then you'll see that we get 45 XP. And there you go, we have 45 XP from that. And if you do the other methods of healing injured players or car fires or anything like that, then you will get a lot more XP. And as you can see, I did just get 10 XP for being on duty, as well as just putting out a fire. So that's 55 XP in a very small amount of time. And again, as proof that I do have a lot of XP, if you look in the top right, I have 14,480 XP. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like and subscribe, as it helps out a lot. See you in the next one. Bye.